So I just received this link. It's zipmessage.com slash Bluth Company. So let's pretend that I'm a customer of the Bluth Company and I need to ask for help, but I need to show my screen to really show what's going on. Here I am at this page where I can start recording from my screen. I could record from my camera, just my microphone, or I could write text or upload a file. I'll record my screen. I'll choose my desktop and I'll start recording. Hey, I've clicked around these dashboards, but I, I'm really having trouble. If you could help me out, that would be great. Thanks. And I've stopped recording. Now I could post this anonymously or I could be notified. All right, now let's switch it up. I'm logged in as myself. I'm from the Bluth company. And now I can see this new conversation has shown up. Now I can watch the video. If I want to, I can speed it up. But now I'm gonna go ahead and record my response. This time I'm gonna record from my camera. Hey Peter, thanks for the question. I'm gonna pass this one over to our analytics expert on our team and they're gonna get right back to you within the next day or two. Thanks again. Peter has just been notified about that. And I'm gonna ping my teammate and ask him to respond to this customer. A short time went by. I could see that my teammate posted his response. Everyone was notified. So now we have this asynchronous conversation back and forth all on one page. And we could even link directly to the individual messages in this conversation or download the MP4s. Let's look at the settings for this conversation. We can set the title, we can set the link URL, and we can control the visibility. We can make it private, invite only, or anybody with the link can view it. We can make it viewable by the public or let anybody in the public actually post messages. And we can decide to allow anonymous messages. Now let's view all of our conversations. And that's zip message.